Hi, hi fans, Randy Ingersoll here with another video helping you play Hive like a champion. Doing something in this video that I never thought I would do, in fact I promised myself I wouldn't do, and that is review a game played against one of the bots over at boardspace.net. If you're not familiar with Boardspace, that's the best place online to play Hive. There are three bots over there, weak bot, dumb bot, and smart bot. You can get a lot of good experience, a lot of good learning playing against the bots. They're not really that good, but they give you the experience to learn some of the basic principles, the basic rules of the game of Hive. And what prompted me to do this video was this posting over at Board Game Geek. Eric, BGG user Dragonoff762, a self-proclaimed Hive beginner, posted this request asking for comments on a game that he lost playing against Dumbbot at board space. Another BGG user, a self-proclaimed advanced beginner, made a few comments. That's THST over at BGG. He's now known as N-O-O-C-X. I don't know how you'd exactly pronounce that or not. He, had, he actually commented before I had the chance to make this video, and you'll see if you read that, uh, his comments at the Board Game Geek thread, which there will be a link down below. You can actually see that some of his comments and my comments are very similar. So here's a game reference for your, so you can actually go replay this yourself at Boardspace. And what I'm going to be doing during this game, of course, is playing the game in reviewing the, replaying the game in one room, reviewing it in a second room, and with a goal of looking at one of my chapters in my book entitled Beginner's Mistakes, where I highlight six mistakes that beginners quite often make, and we're going to see how we can learn from some of those mistakes in this game. So let's go ahead and get started. Dumbbot is playing white, opens with a grasshopper, and Eric, playing black, plays the beetle. Both of these are extremely common moves, particularly with classic hive. Both are good defensive bugs, getting a bug out in play that can jump out from an enclosed space. Both players follow with two more defensive bugs. Dumbbot elects to play with an elbow, where Eric plays the first grasshopper in line. And this is actually not a bad opening so far for Black. White plays another grasshopper, and Black sets up the queen in a good defensive formation. And this highlights the not-so-smartness of Dumbot. Playing the white queen, forced by rules to play the queen now, cannot play any later than the fourth move, puts the white queen here, self-pinning all three of these first three white bugs. Not a very good situation for white. This will also allow me to highlight the standard hive opening encyclopedia or shoe designation for this game. And with the white queen being played fourth, you'll actually see that there are four letters notifying the first movement. Black follows by moving the queen. And here we have the first two beginner's mistakes. The first one is wasting tempo in the opening. This is a definite tempo waster. Moving the queen at this point wastes a move. So this is something you should not do, move your queen this early in the game. It also, however, does away with the good defensive position in, of the grasshopper, beetle, and queen. Now the queen no longer has two good defenders. So two beginner's mistakes with just one move by the black queen moving forward. White follows with the first spider, and notice this spider has a direct line of attack to pin the black queen at that spot. And black 
attacks with the grasshopper. And Dumbot brings in an ant. Now this highlights a basic concept in Hive, and that is that surrounding your opponent's queen is not the goal in Hive, that's just how you win. And by that we mean that although the long-range goal is to surround your opponent's queen, in the meantime, leading up to that goal, it's more important to do other things other than immediately surround the queen. So here, Black jumps out with the grasshopper, no doubt wanting to stop the white queen from moving away like this. That does attack the queen and keep her pinned, but what probably should have been done is jumping out like this, pinning the white ant. That's a better long-term goal for this black grasshopper. The white ant pins the black beetle. And black makes a good move by bringing in an ant. And the second white spider comes in. Now this is very interesting here because the two white spiders are in very good attacking position. But we'll see in a minute that Dumbot does not take advantage of that. This spider could go one, two, three to there. And then this spider could go one, two, three to there. Good use of the two spiders. Black elects to attack with the ant. This, however, is definitely not the best move. A lot better would have been to pin this spider, pinning a not such a good defending bug against the queen, or better yet, moving to here, pinning this spider in place, and intercepting both of these spiders. Neither of them now have lines of attack to the Black Queen. But Black elected to go ahead and attack. And again, Dumbot showing that not so smart, attacks with this spider, and now this spider does not have a line, line of attack to the Black Queen. Black thinking he's still on the attack brings in a beetle, and white brings in another ant. And black brings in a spider. And this highlights the a couple different things here. One of them is this. End of my chapter, Beginner's Mistakes, and that's misusing your ants. There are very few things worse than losing a game with ants in reserve. So if you notice here, black only has one ant in play and the black spider self-pinned it, where white has two ants in play. Not only did the black spider self-pin the black ant, but the spider and the beetle both have lines of attack to the same spot. This is definitely a waste of uh, attacking power, having both of those bugs lined up to the same spot. And then Dumbot brings in an attacking beetle. The beetle climbs up. The white beetle attacks. And we have a scenario here where it's definitely 
a loss of tempo. What needed to happen here was Black needed to either bring in an, an, another ant or attack with the spider, which would free this ant to defend. And then when Dumbot takes the setup shot with one ant, there's no defender available to stop the second white ant from moving in and taking the kill shot. So the beetle drops down and the white ant takes the kill shot. Very interesting game, very quick. Highlights a couple different things from a beginner standpoint. We've got the three uh, beginner's mistakes that are highlighted here, misusing your ants. You never want to lose the game with ants in reserve. Secondly, wasting tempo in the opening. Thirdly, failing to set up a good defensive position for the queen. In this position, black actually set up a good defensive position and then moved away from it. And so it's an excellent game as a learning experience, definitely a beginning player. And of course, in my uh, the chapter in my book, Beginner's uh, Mistakes, there are six beginner's mistakes. We only highlighted three of them, two, three, and six. If you're interested and want to see what those are, you can purchase my book or um, go over to my website. There'll be a link down below and you can request there a free chapter. I'll send you a copy, a PDF copy of that chapter, Beginner's Mistakes. So thanks again to Eric for making this request over at BGG. I hope you get to watch this. I will put a link into the BGG thread as well. And I'd like to thank those uh, recent contributors to my channel, Copper Penny, Kukin Rollet J, that's Bram P, and my two most recent contributors, Bill D, aka Eagle Eye, and Jason R, aka Roger. They have made contributions to my channel on my Buy Me a Coffee page. There's a link down below as well. If you'd like to make a contribution to my channel, I would appreciate it. Of course, if you haven't already purchased my book, Play Hive Like a Champion, there's a link to that down below as well. So thanks again for watching. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing off, where I'm always helping you play Hive Like a Champion.